Okay, so we're recording. Right. Okay. All right, now you wrote me and said go to page 529. I did. I have it here. I did. Now, I don't have it memorized, but we can go over some of the things that we're talking about. But I do want to ask you something first and then point something out to you if I, I think be okay. useful. Um, remind me, are you a newbie at A Course in Miracles? You've yes, been at it years? No, I've just got the book, Gary. Just got the book. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, no wonder you asked somebody to interpret it for you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Because, because it is a... Well, to me, to me, Sharon, it is the most stunning piece of literature ever created, ever. Okay? Yeah. That's on the one hand. All right. On the other hand, it's not necessarily for everyone. Yeah. The mere fact that you're interested in it suggests it's for you. Um, now, it has a lot of stuff in it. And most people, myself included, when they first start reading it, they just shake their head and say, what? Yeah. <laughs> it is telling you things like I'm telling you in our optimal EFT course. There is no such thing as separation. There's only a one that we're not aware of it. But it's only one. This thing that we think is the world is nothing but a dream and illusion, even though it seems so convincingly real. Yeah. And on and on and on and on it goes, but it fills in a lot of other stuff there, mm -hmm. okay? Which will make your head go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've only just started, Gary, and I've got the first one was, um, nothing I see has any meaning. And, and yeah. that just blew my mind. And yeah. Then, yeah. And I well, give everything, I give everything I see, all the meaning it has to me. Just an, and so I think I've done five of those now. Well, what you're talking about now is the lessons. Yeah. What you pointed out to me was part of the text. Yeah. So that, you... I just started with the lessons. So okay. You haven't read the text? No. Okay. Well, the, the lessons assume you've read the text. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you can't get something, something out, of the, out of the lessons. Right. Okay, so when I read, what's the title of this thing? The Special Function. The Special Function. Mm. Okay. I noticed in there a word, which if you're a newcomer to this, you need, you need to have it explained to you or you'll get the wrong impression. Right. And that word is salvation. Okay. Now. Oftentimes, particularly in Christian um, terminology, mm. salvation is associated with something like, you're a sinner, you are evil, we are going to save you from all this, and thunderbolts, yeah. and lightning, and, and all of that, okay? Yeah. In A Course in Miracles, salvation has a much different meaning. It's very important to understand it. It isn't all this other sinful stuff, okay? Right. Mm. A major message in the Course is that the world you think you see is an illusion. Mm. And all the things that you think are sins for which you have guilt and all this other stuff are but errors in perception. Mm. They aren't sins, nasty, nasty, shame on you. They aren't, it's nothing like that, mm -hmm. okay? It's quite different, quite different from many versions of religion, Christianity, and so on, okay? Mm. The whole thing is simply an error. It's a mistake. Mm. That's all it is. It's just like a young child 
who has just born makes many errors. They stick their finger in electric light socket, for example. Mm -hmm. They're always playing with a, what is this kind of stuff. They're making errors constantly. Mm -hmm. So are you and I. Salvation means, oh, that's just an error. Okay. Hitler, which we look at as the most sinful character in all of history, okay, is nothing but an error. It's simply a dream. When you wake up from the dream, you go, Oop, what was that? Yeah. Okay, nothing. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So I want to I want to make sure when we talk about this, about that meaning of salvation, the whole thing, the whole course has nothing to do with your supposed sins, okay? And the bad things you did or think you did or, or what other people did to you and all yeah. of that, okay? Mm -hmm. Errors, simple errors. And the more we can get beyond, see beyond this, which is what we're trying to do in our course, mm. the more we can see beyond this, then the easier we can... Stand back from it, yeah. relax, have more peace about it. Mm -hmm. That's a gradual process. We don't just flip a light switch. Mm -hmm. Gradually we do that. You're doing that because you are asking the unseen therapist, which is the same thing in the course as the Holy Spirit. It's, yeah. the, same, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You are asking that spiritual dimension for healing on an emotional level, mm. which you have gotten in many, many versions. Yeah. yeah. So the idea is, as you do that, you gradually start seeing, oh, there's something outside of this seemingly so convincingly real illusion that I'm in. Yeah. There's something out there that this illusion that somehow doesn't touch, but it can touch it. Mm -hmm. It can touch the illusion kind of thing. Okay. Now, it talks on page 529. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you following me so far? Yeah. Yeah. Well, interrupt me anytime you want, because mm -hmm. I can go on forever on this. Okay. Right. But by the way, if you can adjust your camera, I can only see you from like the lips up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, better? see, you, you're much too you're much too beautiful to, to just be cut off, okay. you know. Okay. Aren't you glad that was recorded? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that little bit out. <laughs> <laughs> um, which, by the way, since you liked hearing that, that's your ego saying, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." Look at my separate illusory body, you know. Just a little compliment, hooray, hooray. Okay, that's your yeah. ego doing a dance. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, you like it, that is your ego likes it, but it, in fact, is a problem for you. Okay? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So it talks about your special function. Now, it really doesn't tell you precisely, you, Sharon, have this exact function in this world. Mm. Da -da 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 -da. Um. But it gives you, you know, because it's, it's talking to anybody who wants to read it. Okay, so it can't really think. But the central function of everyone, myself included, mm -hmm. is the idea of forgiveness. Right. And you will see forgiveness threaded throughout A Course in Miracles over and over and over and over again. Now. So your special function is to do your version of forgiveness. All right. All right. Mm. Now we have, but now we have to define forgiveness. Okay. <laughs> forgiveness isn't what we tend to think it is. It Forgive until that. they do it the next time. Yeah. Yeah. That's when we. It's okay. I forgive. Me. Me. In my. Uh, in my very grand presence, mm. forgive you, lowly thing, for that bad thing you did to me. I shall forgive you. 
I am above you, you're below me, you did a bad thing, but that's okay, I'll forgive you. But don't do it again. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, that's, that's what we tend to call forgiveness in the separated world. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not a criticism, it's just what we do. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, forgiveness in the Course in Miracles, forgiveness in our, EF, our optimal EFT course, mm -hmm is defined differently. Forgiveness is to actually realize that whatever it was that happened, whoever did this thing to you and whatever, it was just nothing but part of an illusion, a dream. It never really happened. Okay, now that's pretty tough to get your head around mm -hmm. because you know it happened, right? Mm -hmm. In this convincing dream, they did that. Yeah. Okay? And in this convincing dream, you did something else too, and you feel guilty mm -hmm. about it, okay? Mm -hmm. And you know that. No, uh, yeah. uh, you know. So again, it's not a light switch. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not uh now you have one definition of forgiveness. I forgive you in the ego world okay it's rather oh it didn't even happen oh that's okay i forgot not even there okay so it's not a light switch mm -hmm. it's a process <laughs> okay. so your special function sharon mm -hmm. is to forgive to recognize not just academically but to actually own the idea that this is all a dream. Right. And it, here, in fact, the, the Course in Miracles has, in the text part of it, it has a section on it that talks about the dream, and it, it goes something like this. When you, Sharon, mm -hmm. have a dream at night, yeah. while you are dreaming, it seems so very, very real, does it not? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yet it violates reality as you know it in this mm -hmm. body world. I mean, like, 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 like at one moment you're playing bridge with a celebrity, and the next moment you're in a parachute over Japan, yeah. Yeah. and you think nothing of uh, the fact that you s switched automatically like that and all of this. Mm -hmm. and, and when you wake up and you look back at that dream, you go, oh, <laughs> Dream. You forget all about it. Huh? Yeah. It didn't happen. Huh? Someday, and you're in process of doing that now with our course, you will wake up. And when you'll do, you go, dream. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Are you like that now, Gary? No. Have you reached that? No. 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 I was there in my spiritual experience. Mm. Yes. Temporary. I still have to deal with it. Where I am, though, is I'm higher up the stairway of miracles than when I started. Mm. Because I'm often catching my ego doing stuff and giggling at it as it does its little dance. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am often catching myself uh, beating somebody up in my head because they did whatever they did. Yeah. I'm catching myself like, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Oh, okay, kind of thing, you know. Mm. All of that. I catch myself doing it. Mm. Yet, I'm still doing it. But the important thing is, I'm catching myself doing it. Yeah. That is a step mm. along the way. Mm. And I'm getting better and better and better at walking away from it, seeing it differently. It's a process. It's a process. Mm. Okay. So how is that? Good. And I can see myself do that a lot now. But as you say, I'm still doing it. I'm, I'm just as you said, I'm like, oh, why did I respond like that? Why did I get angry over that? Yeah. But, yeah. but I take comfort that I can see it happening. I do see yeah. it happening. Oops. Yeah. And, and the, important, the important thing about that, Sharon, is that you notice it, but you don't beat yourself up about it. Mm. Oh, no. no. You, it's more like, a, there I go again. Yeah. 
Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. Or, or maybe better stated, there my ego goes again. Mm. Yeah. No, my ego is taking over for now. Just as I complimented you about your beauty a while back and your mm. ego did a dance, mm. Mm. you know, that's your ego, you know, yeah. <laughs> waving his flag. Yay, yay, look at me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And the more, the more, um, you might not remember, but I, I, rang you with some important improvements I said I'd had. The more improvements I have, the more my ego wants to really, really come in and, and battle with me. Oh, that's how yeah. it feels, yeah? Yes, oh, yeah. very good. You're, you're climbing the steroid of miracles. That realization is very, very important. Mm. Yeah, because you're noticing the ego doing it. Yeah, the ego does not want you to recognize your oneness reality, because mm. when you do, it becomes useless, it fades, it dies, if you will, and it's not about to do that. Yeah. Do you <laughs> still have an ego then, Gary? Oh, do you absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. I, oh, wow. I'm forever giggling at it, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's a, really, it's a really long process. If well, you, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Ideally, I mean, you were talking about astigmatism, astigmatism some eye yeah. thing. Okay. Um, and what you said was you had the eye problem. You weren't making much progress with that. You ask unseen therapist, and she said, "Go to page five twenty-nine." Yeah, but I asked her. I asked her six times. I asked her. I couldn't get anything. I asked her again, couldn't get everything, left it another day, tried again, nothing. Honestly, when I got to number six, I thought, what am I supposed to do? And she said, pick up the book. And I'd got the book and I'd put it here. Pick uh -huh. up the book. So I picked up the book and she said, I'll find the page. And I just ran my thumbs along it and opened the book. And that's where I was. And then, Gary, I just kept reading it and thinking, I don't understand. I really don't yeah. understand okay. it. Yeah. Well, um, all right. Okay. One of the things you will learn as you become a deeper and deeper student of A Course in Miracles right. is that it says the same thing over and over and over and over and over again from okay. different angles, different different metaphors, different right. prose, et cetera. Right. And what that whole section was about, in fact, I, as I was reading, I was going, well, this is the whole course, okay? It's yeah. basically saying forgiveness, see beyond the dream, you know, <laughs> right. that's what it's saying to do. And that's what this whole course is about. But understand, it's 1,200 pages. Mm. It's 1,200 pages, all right? Mm. And when you get all done with it, <laughs> with the lessons, you know what it says? Forgive some you don't more. Know. You know, it says, now you have just finished the beginning. This is not an end. This is a beginning. Mm. And what it does is it then turns you over to Holy Spirit, unseen therapist, mm. to ask and ask and ask, okay? Now... Mm. A lot of times we will ask. Lesson 10 in our course says ask, 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 okay. And we get some answers oftentimes that are, that are useful if we keep mm. practicing it. Other times we hit a dead end. Mm. And that dead end, which is what I was hearing from you after all mm. these things, is we don't want to hear it. Yeah. Our ego's in the way, going, no, no, not that, not that. Okay. Mm. No, no, not that, not that. We don't want to hear it. We're not yeah. really open. It takes practice to be open. Right. Okay. So what you did is you opened it to some page. Mm. There it was. You read it, didn't understand it. You asked me. Mm. Now we recorded it. There it is for you. And so my guess is that's a, that's a start for you. Right. So can I just ask you then, because the way I read it, Gary, was... Um, it talks about somehow the vague and more, more obscure seems easier to look upon and it carries on to 
than what is wholly clear and unambiguous. And I took it that that was the dream. The first part was the dream. And the clear and un unambiguous is the oneness. Is that, is that what it means? No, no, no. That's not the way I read it anyway. Right. The, the ambiguous, the vague and ambiguous is what we think is reality. Yeah, the dream. The dream. Yeah. The, if I recall it right, and it's trying to put it in terms that we understand using our senses and what we think is our body, what we think is real here, okay? Mm. The, this is my term, the glory of the oneness, the heaven, the, whatever name you want to give it, mm. is so bright, yeah. but it doesn't mean bright in the terms of blinding to the physical eyes. Mm. But it is so bright compared to that which we think is real mm. that we have, we have a very hard, we would much rather see that which is in the shadows, that which is vague and, yeah. and we'd much rather see this than look at that because that is so glorious. It's so far outside of our perception mm. that it's almost painful to look at. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and is it simply that we're not ready for that yet? Yes. Yeah. That's a good way to say it. We're getting mm. ready. We mm. are getting ready. This conversation, Sharon, helps both of us get ready. Right. Hmm. Okay. So I was okay there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <sighs> I got a new phone. <laughs> very tuneful. <laughs> Can I ask you another one then, Gary, quickly? Sure. Um, it says, would you behold your brother? I presume that means Jesus. No. No, no. right. No. Explain, please. Okay. Okay. Your brother, and by the way, the Course speaks only in the male gender. Masculine, yeah. And it's important to recognize that some, some women read and go, Where's the women part of this? You know, it's a mm. description. No, no. It makes no distinction. It's an important point. There is yeah. no distinction among people. So the fact that somebody's a he and somebody's a she, material. Okay. Yeah. Brother, brother means everybody else in the world. Okay. Okay. It's yeah. the overall thing is this is this. Originally, we're part of this grand oneness. Mm. All right. There are no bodies to lug around. Okay? Mm. <laughs> There's yeah. only this blissful love thing. Mm. Okay? We get, we're all, and we have all the power of God. God created one son. The whole group of us is all together yeah. one son. This is mm. all in the course, okay? And the purpose for having one son is so that God could share love and have love shared back. And he gives to the one son, us, mm -hmm. all, all his powers, which is everything possible. Okay. Okay. We get the notion, having all this power, that, gee, what would it like to be special and separate? Mm -hmm. Not part of this grand oneness. What would it be like to be that? And bingo, we did it because we are that we are that powerful. It's an illusion, but we created this grand, and it is a grand. You know, yeah. <laughs> it is a really good illusion. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but we created it, all right. And when we did that, we turned our back on our wonder. We became unaware of our oneness, all right? Mm. Now, other parts of this, which are gonna seem a little stranger to you still, but you have to read other parts of the Course of Miracles, okay. is that God, unlike what it says in the various religions, okay? <laughs> all, all, all of this cuts across all of this former religion yeah. stuff. Good. God does not know we separated. Right. But let me, let me continue with it. Does not know we separated. 
God does not understand guilt, grief, fear, and stuff like that. Does not, right. God is only love these other things, which are like love's opposite in a way. Mm. Doesn't understand. He's only love. Only right. love. Nothing else. There is nothing else. Mm. Now, we've made up other stuff. God is unaware of that. Right. What he understands, according to the Course, or some miracles, mm. is that his son sleeps. He's out of contact with his son. His son sleeps. So he creates a bridge called the Holy Spirit, which bridges between God who knows only love and the Holy Spirit who knows all this stuff we, that we have created for ourselves. Okay. That's the unseen therapist, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's a bridge, this course written by Jesus, okay, mm -hmm. talks about the Holy Spirit and the, I mean, the two are almost interchangeable is a bridge to bring us back. Now, the other piece of this, I, I'm, I'm going to scramble you. It's a good thing this is recorded, because you've got to watch this a hundred times, okay? Yeah. Is that this whole illusion, this whole dream that we think we're in, is over. It was, it was over the instant it was started. However, and that's because there is no such thing as time. There time. is no time. Mm -hmm. It's over. But we still we believe we're in it. We created time, and so we, we still think we're in it. We are not. We think we're in it, okay? <laughs> All the more reason to have this bridge to finally realize this whole thing is a dream. This whole thing is silly, you know? Poof. So in yeah. the same way that we hold on to our, um, like the memories from childhood and keep replaying and keeping us in that place, that's what we've done then, basically. Yeah. 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 That, yeah that, that. That's, a, that's a feature of time, which, which also is an illusion. Mm. But Gary, if we created it, why can't we decide to go back, why can't we just say, we don't want to stay here, we want to go back? Because we do want to stay here, that's the point. I don't want to stay here. <laughs> well, consciously you don't. Consciously. No, I absolutely don't. Well, okay, all right. I can say that as well. Mm. I don't want to be, in fact, you know, I have been, and that's, mm. one, I've, went back there briefly. Yeah. Uh, and here I am here knowing what that is. Mm. It isn't just words to me. Yeah. And yet I'm running around inside this body with this ego, having to deal with all the rest of the egos and all the rest of the people, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. all the stuff that goes on in this world. And I know it's wrong, but there's something tugging at me, that ego says, no, 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 no. You don't want to go back. You don't want to do that. No, 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 no. So there's a, there's a stronger pull other than our conscious, I don't want to be here kind of thing. But for you, isn't that, isn't that your, um, this calling that you've got? This work that you're doing is, is, yeah. is freeing the planet. It's not, it's not, I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just here. You've got a very different calling on this earth, haven't you? Well, you see it as different. Mm. That's because the ego world would see it as different. Some people's functions are more glorious or grander than somebody else's and so on. Okay. Mm. My function to me quite clearly is to be a teacher, teacher. Mm. and help people along here. And while I teach... I help myself along the path as well. He who teaches you know, is, is one of your better learners. Yeah. Okay. So I'm doing it for, for those reasons. Now, in, in the ego world, there are some achievements that are grander than others. But to simply, and, and you may say this, what I'm going to say here is a, 
is something that is below this level that I'm doing. Okay. To find a child who seems lost and is crying because they lost their mommy. I'm going to make this up, okay? Mm. For you to come and comfort them and help them and find their mommy to put them back together is a form of love that is that is has all the importance of what I'm doing. Do you hear it? Yeah, I do. Okay. It doesn't seem that way in the ego world. Some people are doing grander things than others. Okay. The teacher who has a classroom of 20 students who's trying to teach them and trying to understand each of those children and their needs, their educational needs, their emotional needs, all the stuff that a teacher will do. And, and there are some teachers who do this more so than others, okay? Mm. But, but those who are really into it, magnificent, absolutely magnificent. It doesn't get the same accolades mm. that is doing something like I'm doing in, in the ego world. But does it deserve it at least as much and so on? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You getting beyond your um, various issues that you've dealt with. And by the way, let me ask you, this idea of going into a public bathroom, does that still bother you? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, something about that, something about what you did shifted your own perception. As a result, you are softer in this world. You are freer in this world than you used to be. You radiate that. You, I mean, you'll radiate your fears as well as you radiate your freedom. Right. Okay. You that's important. That's a very important piece. Okay. So what I'm, what I'm trying to say is don't look for necessarily for some grand thing that the whole world will write books about and do movies about and everything else. Okay. Yeah. Think, look around. Look around you, Sharon, and all the people you know. How many of them are able to truly forgive the way we're talking about it? Nobody. Not many, right? Nobody. No? Okay. No. To the extent you can do that, to the extent you can teach that, to the extent you can radiate that, how important is that? Yeah, massively. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's massive. Yeah, and I do all of this at some level with my four grandchildren. So even if only a tiny bit goes in, it's worthwhile, isn't it? That's what you're saying, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. But I still want to know, Gary, why can't I just say, I, want to, I don't want to be here, I want to go back to where we came from? Should be allowed. Well... Yeah, but now let's think about this for a minute. I'm, I'm going to speculate for a moment. Go on, so you say this question now. I'm going to be your ego for a minute. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to say, well, now, Sharon, good thought, good thought and all that. But if you do, you know, you're going to leave your grandchildren. You're important to them. And if you do, you know, what's your husband going to think? And, you're not, you know, and, and you're going to leave him alone and, uh, if you do, you have this obligation and that responsibility. And, 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 and by the way, you won't be having any of this anymore. And, and, you, know, and you know, there's, little, there's some tubs, are there not? Yeah, there are. Okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. There you go. So basically, it's all about forgiveness, Gary. Is that what I'm to learn from this message? That's the ultimate, in A Course of Miracles, that's the ultimate. Yeah. That's the, yeah. Forgiveness, but more to recognize your true reality is not this illusion. You're in an illusion. Yeah. To get beyond yeah. the illusion. And that's, see, that's easy to for, go back to the dream you had where you're in a parachute over Japan and all that stuff, okay? Mm. In that dream, 
Maybe you did something against somebody. Ooh, you, yeah. I mean, you already did them. You hurt them or hit them or something and mm. killed them or whatever. Okay. Or somebody did something to you. Oh, mm. terrible, terrible. They stole something from you. They cut off one of your legs. They, whatever they did. Okay. Mm. When you wake up, all of that never happened. You understood it was a dream. That's what forgiveness is in that sense. It's mm. to recognize you're in a dream and none of this is real. Right. That's easy. <laughs> well, academically, academically. I, 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 just, I just saved you 1,200 pages of reading. <laughs> you know, in the Course in Miracles. Okay, that's what, thank that's you. what that says over and over and over again. Your first lessons, nothing here means anything. Nothing yeah. I see, it, what means anything. That's what... Yeah. Even these words don't mean anything. Yeah. Even these words, you give it all the meaning it has. Mm. Yeah. And you're insane, by the way. I and know. So you're insane. You are, you're, you're insane because you think you're a separated body instead of the oneness. You're insane. I'm, we're all insane. And yet we take an insane person who gives meaning to stuff in this world. Yeah. <laughs> and I bring you up and ask you to speak in insane ways to me. Yeah. Well, you asked me to call you insane, which I just now got around to doing. <laughs> Thank you for that, Gary. I don't know if I'm any the wiser. So just quickly, is, is, is the message from that, because I couldn't get anything on the I thing, I couldn't get an answer, or I wasn't listening, um, is, is the basic answer then that I've got a whole load of forgiveness still to do? Yes. Or, or is, it, is it that aiming higher at the forgiveness that I'm supposed to be doing? No, it's, just, it's just a lot of forgiveness. Now, the way, the way we put that together in easier right. terms for people is, specific events in your yeah. life. Now, if it's an eye problem, you might want to ask unseen therapist about, I mean, you've already asked, but mm. you might want to ask from a different angle about the eye problem. What is it I don't want to see? Um, uh, you know, it, 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 what is it about the eyes? I mean, there's, there, there is something that you physically, you, you don't want to see, um, you don't want to have come into your awareness. Um, um, and it got, possibly you are punishing yourself. Maybe you saw something you don't ever want to see. Maybe there's something in the future you don't want to see. Um, right. We, we make all these things up. Right. And That's they come good. down to specific events. But see, the ultimate, the ultimate problem we all have, mm. Sharon, is we believe we are separated. That is our ultimate problem. We are approaching undoing that by going to specific events, mm. you know, undoing some things along the way, getting some physical responses. You haven't, it hasn't had it happened with your eyes yet. That just means we've got, there's some emotional stuff in there someplace that you haven't identified, mm. you don't want to let go of. You know? mm. I th think about it for a minute. Just bring to mind somebody you resent. Okay. You got somebody? Okay. All right. They did something to you that whatever, you know, you, and you can probably sit there and, and <laughs> talk for a while on all the bad things, whatever, whoever it was did. All right. Yeah. Now, ask yourself this question. Do I really, really, really want to be free of this resentment? And if you'll think about it, chances are you don't, don't really, really want to do because, and I'm going to speculate for a moment because it's typical of what happens, is you get the, see, one of the benefits of carrying around a resentment about somebody is you get to beat them up in your head. You get to blame them. Okay. Oh, they did this and they're bad, and I wouldn't do this kind of thing. No, 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 no. Whatever. We we, mm. we get to do, we get to project on them something we're not aware of, and that is our own unrest. You have become, you have developed as have I, a belief in separation, mm. 
as a result, you have unrest within you. There's something missing. Uh, there's yeah. something, there's an unrest in there someplace, okay? Mm. And rather than look inside and resolve and resolve and forgive and all of that, the tendency, you'll find this in the Course in Miracles too, the tendency is to project it out there, to mm. blame somebody. Now, this person you resent, and there's probably more people that resent, it gives you an opportunity to not look inside, but to blame out there. And temporarily, it feels like you did something. You, oh, oh it's, it's their fault. It's their fault. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> but you didn't, that doesn't really take care of the underlying unrest yeah. that we all have. It seems to for now. Okay. So we can blame, 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 project, project, project. And that's what we're doing. When we can see that other person as this beautiful creation of nothing but pure love and see beyond all the stuff they do in the dream or seem to do in the dream, mm. when we see it in them and forgive it in them, suddenly we recognize, oh, I'm like them. Oh, I can be free of this. They can be free of this. It never happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. but then you have to deal with them you know at the Christmas party next next year yeah. <laughs> or whenever you see them again okay <laughs> but so if I'm project if I'm if I'm not forgiving my mother let's say then and I've tried with all sorts of issues is it then really that I if I'm projecting onto her is it me that I need to forgive to stop projecting onto her and carrying this on? Well, yes. Yes. Ultimately, yes. The way mm -hmm. The Course in Miracles puts it forward, though, is that's a little harder to do than to forgive your brother, which would be your mother in this case. Mm -hmm. When you really are free of all of that stuff, you really recognize She's just doing, she's just doing her own kind of blaming, her own kind of projecting, mm -hmm. her own kind of behaviors. You know, because when you, when you think you're separate, what comes with that is separate interests. And that's automatic yeah. conflict, automatic. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to have to get through this world their own way, and their way of doing it is not your way. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> it's conflict, 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 you know? And for mm -hmm. some, stealing or murder or something like that is a way to get through this world. For other people, no, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so it goes. So, but, but I think, what do you think to this, though, guy? If I, because I thought I'd forgiven my mom and I'd got to the, you know, just the beautiful golden light. Um, and then I slip back again. So if I'm slipping back again, She's not, I don't have anything to do with my mom now. So she's not doing any of this. This is all me. Yeah. So then it's definitely me recreating something that needs to be forgiven in me. And I keep mirroring it across to her. Well, don't and I? that mirror, yeah, uh, yes. And that mirror, I mean, yes. Yeah. For, for, forgiveness is an inside job. Yes. Okay. Mm. That mirror, though, means what you're seeing out there in your mother and other people that you resent, and we all have our list, okay? What you're seeing out there is a, is a mirror of what you don't like about you, even though it doesn't seem that way. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Wow. Right. Okay. I've got lots of work to do, Gary. It's <laughs> all me. <laughs> well. Or us, depending on how you want to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's always an inside job. Yeah. But just picture this if you would. And we'll just pick your mother for the moment. Mm. If we go back in time, and this is one of my favorite reframes, actually. Sharon. Okay. If we go back in time, mm. when your mother was being born, was a fetus in the womb. Mm -hmm. Now, she didn't ask for some 
sperm to hit some egg. Right, no. Okay. Yeah. And, and from all of the science that I know about, no scientists have ever indicated there's such a thing as an evil sperm or a nasty egg or anything. A, a sperm is a sperm and an egg is an egg. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so, they get together. so there's your mother. Mm. Didn't ask for that sperm and that egg to get together, but there she is, and she's inside a, a womb. Yeah. And her mother has to deal with a separated world, is in conflict and all this kind of stuff. Mm. Maybe she doesn't even want the child from time to time and thinks that, and the child picks mm. it up. Okay? Mm. Your mother picks that up. Mm. Mm. Uh, I and mean, maybe there's arguments and stuff. Your mother goes, oh, what's all this world about? Just like you would and I would in yeah. the womb, et cetera. Okay? Mm. So all this is inputting on her, her pure self, preparing her to come out the womb and then be in this world where there's yet more conflict, yet more conflict, yet more conflict. And in the first two or so years, she makes no distinction between herself and the outside world. Mm. The outside world like causes her, she causes it. There's no real distinction. Same thing in the womb. Yeah. So all this stuff is given to her. She has no choice but to buy it. Mm. She has no choice. Yeah. You don't have any choice either in that stage for you, mm. nor do I. Okay. You just buy it. Mm. And then with that foundational purchase, <laughs> yeah. okay, we then go off and deal with the world in whatever way we do. Mm. And in order to take care of ourselves, your mother, she will behave in certain ways, mm. which others don't like. She may project her unrest on you, which I'm guessing you don't like. Mm. Okay. But if we stand back and understand what really happened there, even though, even though that's an illusion, okay, we yeah. can look at that part of the illusion mm. and see what formed all of this. And at least logically, academically, we can now sit back and go, oh, She's just like me in that sense. She's just burdened mm. with a whole bunch of stuff, similar but different from what I was burdened with. Yeah. And now here we are later on and we're clashing and I'm arguing with her and I'm mirroring my stuff on her and then, mm. and then all this stuff goes on and it's you gotta stand back for a minute and go, Pfft. imagine, Sharon, being free of that. Yeah. And that's what, that's all I want. It's really easy. Okay. Well, academically, piece of cake. Yeah, but it's not, is it? Takes a little work because you have, you have been conditioned, Sharon, as have I, for decades, 24 seven about the illusion. Mm. And when we finish this conversation here, you may go, well, good stuff in there. You may say that, but you're going to be right back in the illusion. You have to deal with your husband. You have to deal with your neighbors. You have to go buy food. You got to pay a mortgage. You got to die all the stuff in the illusion, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got yeah. to read the newspapers about what politicians did and whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And your local yeah. soccer team, your local soccer team loses. Oh, that's bad. You know? <laughs> And that's why the only people who really could ever do this were hermits, weren't they? Hermits and monks and people who disappeared into a cave. I don't know if they ever actually did that. I mean, you might think that, but see, the, that loses an opportunity. Yeah, the, the monks and, and the hermits and all of that, yes, they have a, a way to not have the rest to of the world. Close in it Egypt. all out, yeah. But on the other hand, there's an opportunity for having the rest of the world there because you start recognizing it's your inside job and you have all these opportunities to forgive. They're all <laughs> around you. Yeah. Are they not? Yeah, they are. Hmm. Yes. It's mind bending. Let me ask you something, Sharon. Mm. I recorded this for you. Thank you. The, the context of it might be useful for others. Mm. Is it okay with you if I let others see it? Absolutely fine, yeah. Mm. 
Well, we're talking about your mother and some personal stuff and all yeah, that. Yeah, fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. All right. All right. Well, with that, my uh, dear, I'm going to give you a hug okay. from California, all the way from California to England. And thank that? you. Thank you so okay. much again, Gary. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. All right, my dear. All right. Big kiss to you. Take okay. care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.